How's it going guys? Clutch here once again playing some more Farming Sim 19 and we're continuing our tutorial series today with the ultimate guide to making silage. So we're going to be talking about all the different types of silage you can make, how you make them, the equipment you're going to need, and what you do with it after you get it done. So, let's go make some silage without any further ado guys. Well, you know what I'm going to say, right? Pitter patter. Clutch Simulations guys so let's start off by making some grass bales <clears throat> so these grass bales uh, will be turning into silage bales actually as well so the first thing we're going to need to think about is cutting the grass so uh, as you saw at the start here we use this mower and uh, we were cutting the grass now this is probably one of the better mowers um, currently in the base game at least it uh, goes fairly quick it's expensive but it does a fairly good job um, there are some other, other options there. You can get some mowers that just attach to, tra to tractors, which those are always great as well. Currently, none of the mowers make a single windrow. So the uh, the mower, as you could see back on the uh, on that swath behind us, anyways, it's got <clears throat> a ton of different. Uh, it's just it's kind of spreads grass out everywhere. So that is the unfortunate part with this the current mower system. So um, you may need to either get a windrower or you make multiple passes with uh, whatever your pickup device may be. So it's kind of a mess, unfortunately. So other than that, the other piece of equipment we're going to need, obviously, is some kind of a baler. Uh, and the, uh, you can see the baler right here. Yeah, this is the New Holland baler. Uh, just a standard round baler. Don't worry about the tractors, obviously. And then we need the uh, bale wrapper, the round bale wrapper. This is a mod, the Ursus mod for wrapping bales. And then as well, down here, we have the Ursus bale trailer, the automatic pickup trailer. This is always nice just because it makes life easier. You can use any flat deck trailer you like, even the back of a pickup if that works for you. But I'm just using this because it's kind of easy to use. That is it. Um, last of all, we have this wind rower. It's technically not really a wind rower, but it is kind of a wind rower. And uh, yeah, it just uh, makes life a little bit easier for us. You don't need to do this. Like I said, you could actually go and pick up all the grass with the baler that you see there. But uh, we'll just use this wind rower to make life a little bit easier for us and put all the grass into some piles all the way around so it's a bit quicker so let's get to it i will see you guys shortly here so i just realized this is technically not a wind rower it's actually called a, a merger um the coon merger regardless it does this is the same thing for the most part it just kind of gathers all the grass up and it goes over and puts it into one pile it makes life easier for you so that's uh, kind of a cool looking device. I've never actually pulled or uh, played with this particular one. It's kind of neat how it kind of goes off the side like that. Uh, you can make some pretty good piles with this one though. I was pretty happy with it. Did the job I was looking for. And uh, yeah, so we're good to go there. So next up, we need to bale this. Now I'm sure you guys have probably all seen bales, but we're gonna do that anyways, just so you have a chance to take a quick look at it. Uh, I'll pull this over here. There we go. All right, so the baler, uh, where is it? There we go, it's hooked up to the old vent here. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, not much with the baler. This is the big round baler. You can do this with square bales, obviously, as well. Uh, we are going to fire up the baler. Uh, there we go, and we've got to drop the, uh, the, the head down below so it starts doing the pickup, I should call it. And now we'll just go and start picking up some of this grass. Um, you can see down on the bottom right there how fast that yellow line's filling up. Once that gets to 4,000, we can open up the baler and drop our bales. Now note with this particular bale, you need to manually, manually do it each time. Uh, it needs to be fully loaded to 4,000 before you load it and empty it, I should say. Um, yeah, so it takes quite a bit. It will not let you unload unless it's fully loaded, if that makes any sense. <laughs> also note that if you jam it down trying to close the lid too quickly, you may glitch this, this particular one out. So. Um, everything else seems to be working. Just take your time with it. Make sure you unload properly, and you should be good to go. So I'll finish this one here all up. We'll grab a couple more of these, and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so let's uh, we'll go and start wrapping after this. All right, so bales are made. Let's go and pick up the uh, Ursus wrapper here now. Now, you may have seen this. This is obviously from uh, Farming Sim 17. It's new mod in 19. Uh, it's a great little device for the most part. Let's see, I can just back this up and hook her up here. Uh, there we go. So once again, you just activate it and it should drop down and you should see that little arm pop out now. 
Uh, this could be a bit tricky with the quad wheels. Let me kind of fight to get it in there. Oh, yeah, I got the wrong tractor for this job, but let's see here. I know I can get this. There we go. So uh, it'll just bring it up on top and, and start spinning and wrapping our bale, which is really nice. And now uh, hopefully after... You know what? I believe since we don't have any Seasons mods on or anything like that, this will be a silage bale right away. We don't have to wait. It is now a silage bale as soon as it's done. So once we finish this up, we can just quickly drop it off the trailer. We can take this right to the biogas plant and drop it off right away if we wanted to. But uh, yeah, we don't have to wait. Now if the season's mode, typically you have to wait for this just like you do normal silage. But uh, right now we do not. So that's one bale. Let's see if we can get this one here. Like I said, this is not the right tractor for this. You want something a bit smaller, obviously, that you can kind of fit in here and get the bales out with. Oh, what a pain. Anyways, I'm going to finish off wrapping these bales, guys. Uh, just make sure you get a smaller tractor. Don't be like me. <laughs> this is a pain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll do finish this off, and then we'll go pick these. There we go. We'll go pick all these bales up. So we are almost done. All we got left to do now is to pick up the bales. Uh, like I said, this here is probably my favorite way of doing it, probably the easiest way. Uh, this auto auto pickup trailer here is great because you can just kind of drive behind the side of the bale and it automatically stacks them onto the deck for you. Um, obviously, you can get any kind of a flat deck if you'd like and maybe some hay hooks on, or hay forks on another tractor and load them that way if you feel like doing some manual labor. But this here is just kind of the quick and dirty, easy way of doing it. So. Um, this is good to go now. We can go over to the biogas plant and drop these off, but before we do that, uh, we're going to move on to silage pit, so let's start talking about that first. So we're here at the biogas plant, and as you can see, there's a couple fairly large looking silage pits here with us as well, so you can kind of see uh, uh, two large silage pits. They're pretty big in the grand scheme of things, but most maps that have biogas plants, which most of them do now, uh, you're going to find they have pits that are part of it, so you can always use these pits. Um, come drop off your silage here and then you're nice and close to be able to drop off uh, at the sell point which is kind of nice. Now instead of doing this though uh, I want to go with a smaller pit just for ease of use. So you'll find them over here in the placeables under uh, silos and where's the double double uh, key. there we go yeah there we go so there's a small double silo we're going to build these so you can see these are pretty small by comparison to these big ones we got in the, in the biogas plant. We're, we don't need to fill up with one of those. So instead, we're going to build these. Now, obviously, you need to do this on some of your own property. You find a spot that on a piece of property you own, and you can just place down the silage pit. Uh, that looks okay, I guess. That'll work. So we'll build this right here, and uh, yeah, now we just need to fill it up, start figuring out what we're going to do. So you've got two different types. You've got uh, grass and you've got corn you can fill up. So we'll fill up some in each and we'll see uh, see how that works. Let's go over and take a look at how this these silage pits work or silo, silage pits are looking uh, once they're in place here. Uh, I should have got rid of some of these trees first. Oh well, this will still work. So <clears throat> there's our small little silage pits. Yeah, they'll do the job, that's for sure. So let's get started here and um, we'll take a look around what our options are going to be for this. So in order to pick up the grass now uh, that we used the bale trailer for before, I uh, still need that, I was <laughs> just thinking about bale trailers, we are now going to use the uh, forage trailer, the pickup trailer here, and that's going to be used to pick up all the grass that we kind of wind rode before. So instead of using a baler, we're going to use the forage trailer and pick up all this grass instead. And yeah, that should be good. So this is a fairly big, this is the big crone forage trailer. We should be able to get quite a bit with this. Uh, this is uh, operates exactly the same as the baler. You just kind of drop the head down and fire up the trailer and the pickups will pick up the grass as you drive over top of it. So I'm going to go around this field here. I'll tell the grass we cut. We should be able to get this trailer right full and I will meet you guys back over at the pit. All right, so our forage trailer is full. That's a lot of grass. A lot of grass. <laughs> uh, let's go over to the pit here and take a look. So we just need to drop this off now. Now the funny thing is with the pits, they don't give you the icon to say, yeah, you can drop that off here. You're good to go. You'd kind of have to do the force, the force drop off. Um, so the unload here option. So here we go. We're just going to unload it. Now, ideally, you're going to want to try to spread this out a little bit. 
Uh, we're only doing the one load, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you're uh, doing this for the whole pit, you kind of want to spread this out. It'll make the next uh, task a lot simpler. So I'll spread it out just a touch here just to make life a little bit easier for myself. Uh, of course, the challenge is right in my way. Every single time I do this, I just put something right in my way. Move this out of the way here. All right. So let's jump back in the, the Vario the Fent, and we'll get this trailer out of the way. And now we're going to move on to the second part. So um, we should have more than enough grass now in the uh, in the silo. Now make note that uh, before you can move on to the compacting stage, which is this next stage we're going to be talking about here, you need to have 10% of the silo filled. Now you can see in the menu as I pull in here, it's going to tell you uh, what the compacting percentage is as well as the uh, the amount that's in here. I have no idea how much it takes to fill this, but anyways, you can see there it's 1% or whatever for compact. So we'll start driving over top of this and we'll start compacting it. So you can see now that our compacting ratio is going up, which is good. So we could just drive back and forth. Now the heavier the tractor, I believe that should help you out with that. So if you had a bigger tractor or a smaller tractor, that'll make a bit of a difference. As well, if you were a little bit better at spreading the load out when you first got here, that would have helped as well. So we'll continue working on this, but we do have one other thing that may help you out as far as compacting. So let's talk about that. So I've gone and picked up a different fent, and with it, uh, as you can see here, on the front we've got a leveler, and on the back we have a compactor. So these two devices here can be used to kind of help you out to uh, level out the silage and to compact it, obviously. So with the front one, you can think of as kind of like a plow and the back one just compacts a little bit better for you. So you have a lighter tractor and this might help you out in spreading, the, uh, spreading everything out a little bit better. Um, now, the key with this plow at the front is you don't want it to be too, too low. Yeah, let's see if that's all right. And you just kind of want to knock the tops of this off so kind of level everything off. So you can go, to go through this and at the same time, uh, oops stuck here didn't get it high enough i don't think let's try that again maybe <laughs> yeah so uh yeah we'll back this up just a sec and see if i can get that plow fixed up there we go there we go all right so now i'll plow this forward a touch as you can see i'm kind of moving all the silage to the far end and in the back um compactor is just kind of a weight and it's just kind of compacting everything down so now you can do the exact same thing. You can kind of go back and forth over top of that. And you can see it's the compactness of this uh, pit is going up pretty quick. So that's a good way of doing this as well. Not necessary, but uh, this might help you out, make your life a little bit easier, potentially. All right, so we are almost done here. Now we're going to see that it's going to pop up and say 100% as far as the compactness goes. And that means we no longer need to do this. And this moves on to kind of our final step of making silage. Um, so you need to allow the grass to ferment now in here. And to do that, you need to cover up the grass. So you can see now we have an option to cover it. Perfect. So once we're ready, we just kind of go up and push down. And now we've covered up our silage. So this will take about a day in game um, with current settings at least. I haven't checked all the different settings to see if that changes or not. But this will take about a day. And then we will have silage that we can sell at the biogas plant. That's it. That's all. All right. So... We've done grass, let's go talk about corn. All right, so corn silage is very similar um, to uh, the grass silage. Uh, the equipment you're gonna need here, you can see we've got a truck with a tipper, and as well we've got the uh, the forage harvester here. Um, yeah, this is the big Cronex, this is the big boy. So I'll be using that, and here we got our corn field, as you can see. So the big key with this is these the the forge harvesters they do not have any kind of a tank inside them so they need to be emptied into something else so you see that we'll just fire this up here and as soon as we open this pipe you can see that it recognizes that we have a tipper beside us so it's going to go over there and point at it and be good to go so in order to do this now you can either have a friend with you in game maybe multiplayer or you're going to have to hire somebody to work inside the forge the, the harvester itself so i'm just going to hire someone here as we get going I'm going to jump out and then go jump into the truck and drive along beside. So you should see here, once he, yeah, there we go. So once he gets out far enough ahead of us that he can't reach the tipper, he's just going to stop and wait for us to catch up. Same thing happens if you happen to fill up your tipper completely. He's just going to notice that you're full and just stop, which is kind of nice. Um, so we can just drive along beside him now. 
So this here will work just fine. We've got a large container obviously to fill this up. Now, you could also do another option if you wanted to. You could connect a couple of the small um, unpowered tippers to the back of this. Uh, so you would have, you could, I think you can do two tippers. I might even be able to do three depending. Um, but you could just, just hook them up as trailers basically behind the harvester and just pull them as you were harvesting essentially. And it would, uh, yeah, you could fill up those small tippers, which is kind of nice because there's a hitch in the back here. So that's another option if you want to do it yourself. Just make sure there's no power, no PTO power, no electric power kind of thing. Very simple, straightforward tipper, and you'll be able to do that. But none of the bigger ones work with that method, unfortunately. All right, so we'll load this trailer up, and we'll head back, and I'll meet you guys at the pit once again. All right, so we are pretty much full, and this is going to be just the same as the grass silage in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we just have to bring our tipper into the pit itself. We're going to use that second pit instead this time. And uh, yeah, we'll drop it off. Now the thing with corn, and I, I'm not sure if it's the price, I haven't double checked the price per truckload, but uh, I know with the price per field, so the same, the same amount of, of field land per acre, you will get almost double the amount uh, of money out of corn as you will grass silage. Oh, let's see if I can not back this in. Look what I've done here. I always do this. I always put stuff right in my way where I'm working here. Let's <laughs> push this blade out of the way. Thank you. All right. So we'll just dump this in here. But corn is still, as it has been in farming some 13 and 15, or 15 and 17, I should say. Corn is uh, probably the most, it's quite a bit more, more profitable than anything else in game. So the corn silage, I should say at least. Uh, once again, we're going to dump this out and do it just the same as we did. We'll try and spread this load out as much as we can. Uh, just to make our lives a little bit easier when we need to compact it. And then we will get to compacting. All right, let's start doing that as well. So we finished compacting and we covered both silos up now. I just wanted to show you this. We're just getting ready to, to uh, finish off and it's going to be done for fermenting. And it took till about, what, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning here for that to finish up. Um, and now it's about to hit 100%. And you're just, all you're going to get is just a slight notification on your top right-hand corner letting you know that it's done fermenting and you can start picking this up now. Um, there's not a lot of information you're going to get for this. But, so if you're not really paying attention, you're off doing something else, you may miss it. Just a heads up, you just get a quick little notification on that top right-hand corner. It's going to say, yep, your silo is done fermenting, and you are good to go. There we go. Finally, there's our one pit. It's kind of nice. You can stand up here in the middle and see both pits where they stand. Um, so now you can also see that it's giving me the option to uncover the pit. So uh, we're not going to do that right now. We'll wait till the morning so we can see exactly what we're doing in the daylight. But uh, it should be good to go. We'll just wait for this one. There we go. Both pits are ready to go. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so morning has come, and we are ready to start harvesting, or harvesting, uh, picking up our silage. So you can see here, we're good to go. So let's just open this up. You just kind of push down on the stick, and that opens up a section of the pit so we can see it. This was the corn, I believe. Um, and yeah, I think it was the corn. So if we jump over to uh, our next pit here, there we go. Do the same thing, and this was the grass. So it looks almost identical. So I don't think there's really a difference in price as far as this goes. It's tough to tell. Anyway, so now to get it out of here, you have a couple different options. Um, currently, the one option is obviously getting like a telehandler or anything with a bucket and scooping it up. That is one option. Uh, I, I'm assuming soon we're going to have the bio belts uh, snowblower option again. That's always the nicest way of doing things, I find. Uh, makes life a little bit easier, but we don't have that mod quite, quite yet. So the other option is going to be using belts. So we do have some other options here. Now you can get a belt in here, and you can see I've got a belt next door ready to go. Convenient, isn't it? Very convenient. Um, I'm not going to go over in the exact use of belts yet. It's uh, that's that, we'll save that tutorial for another day. But you can see here, I'll show you the belts that I bought. Uh, I'll just go over to the belts section, and yeah, we got the first one here. This one here is the pickup. This one picks up everything off the uh, from the silage pit. And now you can choose either this one here uh, or this one. They both will work to kind of transport the um, the silage into the truck, depending on how you set up. This one here is a little more expensive. This is a little bit easier to operate, I find. But you can use the other one as well, if you'd like. Anyways, so now we just gotta place it in the right spot. And to be perfectly honest, this can be a little bit of a pain, but you can see we got it going now. We actually, we're taking stuff out of both of these pits. Uh, but you just gotta kind of find the right spot for that front belt to be sitting. It's kind of weird how it's taken out of both. But anyways, huh. So it's just kind of taking yeah, so I'll just have both pits slowly. So I'm sure if we moved it across, we could keep on doing that, which is kind of nice, actually. So we're going to fill up this uh, 
the silage trailer all the way to the top and well not all the way to the top we'll go as much as we can get from where we are you'd have to move this belt around a little bit to try and get the rest of it but we'll just fill up with what we got now at the biogas plant you're going to find this little location right here this is how it looks at least on uh, ravenport you just got a little spot and it's going to give you a notification that yep you can drop her off here dump her down and you just dump it like you would uh, at your silo at home and there we go silage comes out and you're going to see this little counter here go up and let you know that there's stuff in there and then it will start counting down as it burns off the silage basically um, now make note that you do not get paid until midnight uh, unlike on the 17 where you got paid immediately as it started counting down you do not get paid till midnight right now so just keep that in mind uh, we'll do the also we're going to do the same thing with the bales here now the thing with the bales is that you can't just drop the bales off they need to go kind of up in top there and it's a bit of a fight i always kind of struggle with this um, so <laughs> nice work so let's just, uh, we'll drop the bales off in front here, and then I'm going to need to go grab something with some hay forks in order to uh, lift these bales kind of up inside the, uh, that little container there. So I'm going to show you. And drop it drop. Perfect. Right about there. Excellent. So we'll leave those there. We'll grab some hay forks. Hay forks. Hay forks. <laughs> All right, so we've got the hay forks. Now the fun part. I need to try to stick these bales into the container. Um, this is a bit of a pain. It never seems to work out the first couple times. And you kind of have to Mickey Mouse it to get it in here. So I'll try to mess around with this for a sec here. Hopefully I can get it. Yeah, let's just drop that there. Maybe it'll work. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, let me keep trying this for a sec here. I think... Oh, yeah. Okay, I know. This is such a pain. I've had to fight with this a couple of times, and uh, every once in a while it works. I don't know I have a great system yet. Let me try something else here. So it turns out the secret is kind of you need to get it to fall over almost or drop out, um, and that tends to get the bale to disappear. So let's see if I can just get this one and angle it in place. <laughs> I've done it before. Uh, it's just a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a glitchy system right now. Hopefully this gets fixed in, but if you're fighting with this... Uh, see if I can do this one here. Just need to get it to kind of fall over almost. I kind of had it on the edge last time and kind of just dropped into place. Let's try this here. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. And you have to have your hay, your hay forks completely out of the bale as well. I noticed it couldn't be in whatsoever. And I'll just knock it off here. Maybe that will do it. Come on. And... There we go. So you kind of see I knocked it down. That kind of did it. I find that's kind of what happened with my first one as well. So just be aware that you have to kind of play with this and almost get it to kind of fall out of the bin. I don't know. It's a bit bizarre to me. Don't ask me why it makes us do this, but it does. Um, also, just note again, like I said, you're not going to get paid for any of these bales or any of the silage until, on, there we go, until after midnight on that day. So that's when you'll get paid for whatever that countdown time, that counter has said it is. So, that is going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, uh, really, thanks for stopping by. I hope this video helps you guys with your silage. Uh, if you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Always happy to help there. Um, if you did like this video, guys, make sure you do hit that like button. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And other than that, guys, this has been Clutch. Over and out.